Now, youths and native doctors in Edo states are taking a stand against illegal migration to Europe through Libya. Now, this is after the Oba of Benin called on all native doctors in the kingdom to put an end to fortifying intending travelers and traffickers. Michael Kwiche has the details. The last decade saw a new wave in illegal migration of youths from parts of Africa heading to Europe. The Nigerian Immigration Service said that about 10,000 Nigerian youths have died in the Mediterranean Sea and the Sahara Desert. The federal government, in partnership with the International Organization for Migration, has brought back over 7,000 youths from Libya, and of that number, Edo State alone accounts for almost 80% of the youths. We wanted to know what factors were responsible for this. So we took a trip to Edo State. Although lots of persons have varying opinions on factors responsible for illegal migration from the state, but the core reasons are not far-fetched. The only reason I find for this is what has become, uh, in a way, predominant in our youths. You will find that a lot of them want to earn money without working for it. They are getting lazy. How can anybody say he has nothing to do in the type of life we live here, the, the, the type of economy we have? There is so much to do. Two major reasons. The first is poverty. The other one is ignorance. Uh, people are poor and uh, few people went abroad and made it somehow and brought few things home. They felt that uh, abroad you could pick uh, dollars and euros on the street. 29-year-old Samuel, who was a lorry driver, his story is not different either. Me not, uh, me not tell my passenger me to travel. What you me tell her now? Money, I want you, I want you to buy more to do the job. As we did go now, we be t uh, four boat when they go. Gambia get ya oh, uh, Cameroon get ya oh, Nigeria get you. Oh. Have you called? So, so all the whole country. By country, by, by country. country. Now we call it out of this one. As we enter there, and there we for start to the and problem come come. As problem come come, no, no. I call the asthma boys. Asthma boys, when they use the fly boat, the calabou. They call calabouche people for water. And for there, I start to the go prison. From prison to prison, I go, I go to the grand prison. 25-year-old Florence's story is quite different as she didn't go to Libya. She told me she was deceived into taking to prostitution in Russia. Actually, my own thought was to leave the country, to be in UK, to London, England, something like that, or Canada. That was my dream. I was being deceived because then I was young. So, well, <laughs> that was my past. Most times I don't like talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had to sleep with men for money. You understand? That's all they do there. You understand? But actually, that was not what I was told. But when I got there, you have to around, yes, actually. you have you have to you have to follow the rules and regulation. If not, anything you see, you just take it. Traffic syndicates are responsible for the thriving and sustenance of illegal migration, and governments in Africa have made several moves to address the trends, but have not recorded much success. But perhaps one of the most decisive and effective measures taken by any institution on the continent yet is that by the Oba of Benin Kingdom in southern Nigeria. Omoro Banedo Ukwa Kwolokwolo, Ewari II, the king decreed to place curses on traffickers if they continue in these activities. And going forward, all native doctors are to refrain from administering oath of secrecy on intending travelers. In following up the readiness to comply with the king's decree, we decided to visit a native doctor in the outskirts of Benin City. Eziza used to fortify youths intending to travel abroad. In consonance with the Arba's decree, the House of Assembly passed a bill setting up a tax force against human trafficking. 
It is expected that the Oba's decree, coupled with a new task force against human trafficking, in partnership with NACTIP, will help curtail illegal migration. Mike Okwache, TVC News, Benin City.